Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft Data Pack tutorial. Today's tutorial is the long-awaited custom items tutorial. That means custom items with custom models with custom names and all sorts of things like that. The custom item I will be making today is a laser pointer. If you haven't been following along, this is a three-part series where we first made a custom damage type with a custom death message. In part two, we got some ray casting done and made our laser. And today, of course, we are making a laser pointer that we can right click and shoot our laser. And although this tutorial is specifically for the laser pointer, I do believe that the information covered in this video can be carried to all sorts of custom items. So with that out of the way, let's get started. If you have been following along with the tutorials, here is where we will have left off. We have our data pack with our damage type and these ray casting functions. I will not be changing the resource pack today. However, I do have a tutorial on custom models for if you would like to make a custom laser pointer model. To get started, we need to make a few more things. We need four more functions. They are going to be display underscore energy dot mc function. This function will be responsible for handling a title in our action bar showing how much energy we have left. We need a give.mc function. This will give us our custom laser pointer item. And we need the classic data pack load.mc function and tick.mc function. These are functions that will run when our data pack is loaded and every tick. Now these two functions will not work on their own. To get them working, back in data, we need a new namespace called Minecraft. This is the default Minecraft namespace. And in here we need a tags folder and a function folder. And then in here we can put load.json and in here we'll put some curly brackets, values, some square brackets, some quotation marks, and here we can put our load function. Control S to save that. And we need a tick.json where we will do the same. So curly brackets, values, square brackets, quotation marks, and tick. Control S to save, and we can close these. We'll start with load. We need to create a scoreboard. So scoreboard objectives add, I'll call mine energy, and this will be a dummy. Control S to save that. That is all we need for load, so we can close this. How about we get give out of the way? This is going to be a not so simple give command, which is why we are shrinking it down to a function. We are going to do give at s, so ourself, a poisonous potato. I'm using this as the item because we're going to be making it edible anyway, and it's not used for much. Some square brackets, and then here is where we will put all our components for the item. So we can do an item model. Again, if you have a custom model, you'll put that in here, but I don't, so I'm going to use a blaze rod comma we'll do an item name and this is going to be a bit more complicated we'll do some curly brackets and quotation marks color and quotation marks red comma quotation marks text quotation marks and then our name so i'll do laser comma custom data curly brackets and i'll do laser 1b comma. Now, this is where we get the right-click detection working. We need to make it consumable. Some curly brackets. Our animation will be none. Our consume seconds will be one million, which is a one with six zeros, comma. Food, some curly brackets. Nutrition, I'll move over, zero comma, saturation zero, comma, can always eat true. And just like that, that's our give function. So control S to save. And in Minecraft, let's test this out. Start your world. 
I know what I'm doing. And we can do it slash function, and we should see tutorial give. And if we do this, we should get a laser. And if you right click with it, you should see that it uses the item. Now let's get this right click detection working. In tutorial, we need a new folder called advancement. In here, I'll create a new file called use.json. I have a tutorial on custom advancements that goes a bit more in depth than we will here, so if you want to check that out, you can click the link in the top right. Basically, if you go to meso.github.io, you should see advancement here, but if not, just go to all generators and you should find it. We're going to add some criteria, so I'll call mine use. Our trigger, if we scroll down, find using item, add some conditions, add some item conditions, components, set this to custom data, we'll set this to a string, some curly brackets, and we want to do laser colon 1b. That was our custom data from earlier. Under rewards, we want a function. This is going to be our raycast function, so tutorial colon raycast. Just like that, you're all done. Hit this copy button down here, and back in here, just paste this entire thing in. Control S to save. Now, one more thing to get this working. In our raycast function, after the first line, we will add advancement, revoke, ourself, only tutorial use. Control S to save. This is basically saying that every time we get this advancement, just take it away so we can get it again and rerun this function. Now in Minecraft, if we do slash reload, we can hold right click and see we are constantly shooting out our laser. Now I want to set a limit on the distance, so I will go into hit check. And after this return fail, I will add execute if entity ourself, some square brackets, I want to do distance 10 dot dot. So I'm checking if we are raycasting from further than 10 blocks from the player, I will run return fail. So we will stop this function. Control S to save. And again in Minecraft, if we reload, we can see that if we shoot into the sky, it stops after 10 blocks. This is just a nice thing to have, and it minimizes lag if you just shoot into the void. Now how about we try to get the energy system working? In Raycast, I will clear out two more lines here. And on the first one, I will execute unless score our self energy matches zero. So I'm making sure that our energy is not zero. And if not, we will run scoreboard players remove at s energy two. And I'll explain why we're doing two in a second. Basically, we're checking to make sure our energy is not zero. And if it's not, we are trying to raycast, so I'll remove some energy. Now on the next line, we need to make sure that our energy gets set for players who just joined, because if you join, your energy isn't going to have a value. So for that, I'll do execute if score ourself energy matches dot dot negative two. So I'm checking if our score is less than or equal to negative two, and we have to do negative two because this score here could possibly bring us down to negative one. And since our score when we first join will be at negative infinity, this checks for that. And if so, we will run scoreboard players set ourself energy 100. So I want this to last five seconds, and if we'll be going down one every tick, there's 20 ticks in a second, 20 times 5 is 100. And now let's make sure that we can't use our laser if we're out of energy. So in this execute, before everything else, I'll do if score at s energy matches 2 dot dot. We start at 2 to solve some issues that we might have later. And control s to save that. Now we need to make sure that once we run out of energy, we can get it back. 
So in tick, I will execute as all players with the scores, some curly brackets. We want to check for energy is less than or equal to 100. And as those entities, we will run scoreboard players add ourself energy one. And this is why in our raycast we are subtracting by two because we actually only want to subtract by one, but if we subtract two while we're adding one, it cancels out and becomes one. And if we're not subtracting two, so if we're not using our item, then we're constantly gaining back one. And control S to save that. Let's test this out in game. If we reload and hold this down for five seconds, we will see that after the five seconds, we stop being able to use it. I'm still holding right click, but it's not shooting our laser. And if I let go for a second, we have some energy back. But I want to make this a bit easier to know how much energy I have. Well, that's what our display energy function is for. To set this up, I will do execute if score ourself energy matches one run title ourself action bar and some quotation marks we'll fill this out in a second but i want to copy this entire thing and paste it 10 more times on new lines so we should have 11 rows now and here we're going to use a special character that you can copy from the description of this video which is just a box just like this so i want 10 of those one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I'll copy this whole thing and paste it into all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now let's get this match set up. One is fine, but for the next line, we want to do two dot dot ten. So this is checking for an energy from two to ten. The next line will be eleven through twenty and so on. And now we are going to use another special character here for colors, which I will also leave in the description, and that is this character. If we do that and then an A, this will color it lime green. So I'll copy this and put it before all of them except for our first one. Just like that. And on the first one, I want to do the same thing, but with an 8. The 8 is like a grayed out color. So this is showing that we have no energy left. And if I copy this, then here I can put it after the first one. Here I'll put it after the second one, and so on. But on the last one, we will leave it because it would go here, so there's no point. And this is basically showing that if we have 91 to 100 energy, it'll show full energy. If we have 81 to 90, it'll show 9 as full and 1 as empty. You get the idea. So control S to save that. And to get this showing up, we will go back to tick. Now first, I want this to show up for anyone who is holding the laser pointer. So on the next line, I will execute as all players some square brackets, I want to do NBT, some curly brackets, selected item, some more curly brackets, components, some more curly brackets, custom data, some more curly brackets, and our custom data was laser 1B. And if we find a player with that NBT, I will run function display energy. And now I want to display it to one more player, so make another line. And this player is going to be any player where their energy is filling up. If your energy is still filling up, I want you to see it. So I will execute as all players with the scores, some curly brackets, energy equals dot dot 91. So that's checking if we have a score filling up up to the full bars, which, if you remember, was 91 at the lowest. So if so, we will do the same thing. Run function display energy. 
control S to save. Now in Minecraft, reload. And you should see if you right click our energy bar down there, we can see it draining. And when we run out, it stops firing. And if we let go of right click, it starts filling back up again. So that should be everything. If I pull out a creeper and get some barriers here, I'll build out a little barrier cage for it and put a creeper inside. And now if we stand back a bit and pull out our laser, we should be able to shoot the creeper with our laser, just like that. And in survival, if we do it to ourselves, we should have our custom death message from the first episode. So there you go. We have successfully made a custom laser pointer that shoots out a laser and kills mobs it hits. And like I said, although we were focusing on one thing in particular, I do think that you should be able to take the concepts from this video and put them into any custom item data pack you're working on. And if you make anything really cool, feel free to join my Discord. I'll leave a link in the description, and we have a finished packs channel where you can leave finished packs that you have made for everyone to check out. And if this tutorial was helpful, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton. But with that, thank you for watching. Goodbye!